Glee versus original. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. Go, come at me. You know what, come at me. Cause I'm about to tell it like it is. My own personal opinions. This is part three of Glee versus original. Here we go. Round one. Fight. Oh, we're starting with Taylor. My editor hates me. It's official because he's in charge of also picking these along with you guys. So then therefore you guys hate me. This is the early Taylor, right? I'm now versing Taylor Swift versus Glee. There's so many like Tay Tay fans that are part of Glee. So no matter what I choose, you guys are gonna like be disappointed. So I better speak my truth then. I really liked early Taylor Swift. I felt like there's a lot of storytelling in it. I feel like her vocals are really strong. It's got that innocent feel to it. I really liked early Tay Tay. She is the best thing that's ever been Good note there. Yeah, see this is back in the day when like country music was innocent, it told innocent stories, and then now it's all like super sexy pop sound and stuff. Ugh. God, they seem really young to be having a kid. Wait, was he serving her food and she's imagining them getting married and having kids? Is that what I just saw there? Okay, vocals on point. I really liked it. I think it's innocent. They're simple. First time she went for the higher note. It's not very strong. Taylor's not known for being a big belter, okay? That's the style and I like it. So who's she going against? Why against Naya? And it's the breakup song, right? That's not fair. She's taking a lot of Taylor Swift style in this because Naya is so insanely versatile when she's singing. She has a lot of Taylor Swift feel going on right here. She is the best thing that's ever been mine. Mine! That's great, but I feel like I know Naya now vocally so much better that she could have really put a heavy belt into that, but she's keeping this really light, really innocent, very Taylor Swift style. Ooh, oh, made a rebel of a careless man's careful oh God, but then she adds in that emotion. It sounds like the background's a little bit more gentle. It doesn't have quite the build as Taylor Swift's did. But again, keeping it gentle, keeping it heartfelt due to this context. I can see it now. I love Naya. I love her versatility. If this was based off of how versatile a singer can be, Naya. I don't see Taylor Swift as as big of a belter. She kind of knows what she does and she does it well. Whereas Naya is just the chameleon man she can do. <laughs> The idea is to get Naya to put her own stamp on it and make the song more hers. This could be a music director's thing because it is Glee. I feel like she's kind of mimicking Taylor Swift. So because of that, gotta go with Taylor Swift. Gotta go with the original. <gasps> I did it, I did it. Go me, I did it. Ah, uh, it's got kind of this club feel to it. To love yourself, let me love you. Nice. Okay, I'm loving this so far. His vocals are on point. There's not too much auto tune, which I feel like this style of music oftentimes has a lot of auto tune. 
Oh, oh. Dance moves are great, music sounds great, it's mixed well. I really like those lyrics a lot, and I feel like it could easily be a really good ballad song. Is she mad at him? I don't know, this is kind of weird, right? We're looking at it lyrically, let me love you till you can learn to love yourself, right? So we have these heartfelt, loving, caring lyrics, and then we're showing them fighting, and then all the chicks are all up on him, dancing around with their booty up on him. I don't know, that doesn't seem to fit the whole like I love you, let me love you until you learn to love yourself. Yeah, see he's like, yeah, let me love all you girls. That feels more like if you stripped the lyrics and you put in lyrics about getting it on and like screw you I'm out, those would kind of fit better dance move wise than what we're seeing. I would like to show you what true love can really do. Let me love you and I will love you until you learn to love yourself. They're doing everything that I just said that it should be doing. <laughs> We're slowing it down a little bit. We're allowing the music to accompany him. Granted, it's not necessarily a ballad. The feeling and the emotion is being represented more here. He's also going to a beautiful falsetto. I think we're giving credit to the song now more. It's like you took a really good song and then you made it into club song. You just washed it and it's gone. Oh, and I love his vocals. I loved this part. I just loved this part. Don't be afraid. Oh. oh, I can help. It reminds me that right there, don't be afraid, reminds me of the, there's two instances. The walk, the, the last of us, which by the way, I'm watching with my husband and I will link his Patreon down below, but where he gets her back and he's like, it's okay, baby girl. Like, you're just like, oh my God, you know? And that last line is just like, when you deliver it in a way of like, you're gonna be okay. Oh, it just gets me. Um, oh wait, I didn't say my second instance. Oh, was the Matilda movie, which I've also watched by the way. And I will, I will link my Patreon down below if you want to watch it with me. She has the fantasy of where the dad comes in and he saves her and he just holds her and like says it's gonna be okay. Like those moments, oh God, they fucking tear me up. This just did it. Thank you, Glee. Absolutely 100% point goes to Glee. If I could give you a bonus point, I would give you a freaking bonus point. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. water. My vocals are recovering from having COVID for a week, so I feel like this kind of voice. I go out with the water. I feel like I got <laughs> that raspiness real well right now. And in my head, and I paint a picture. I like that we're going to this old school feel, but it's still got the emotion behind it. Yeah, I just love her vocals on this. I know they are totally jacked. I know they shouldn't sound like this. And I know that in time she would have gotten like major, major vocal nodes, but I still like the sound. I still like that raspy sound. Just that second nature of her, like she didn't have to try. It just comes out that way. She's so nonchalant, but I really like it. So good.
I love Naya's vocals here. I absolutely do. But I do remember watching this because I have my weekly watch party on my Patreon, by the way, and thinking, I really like this song, but I feel like there's just too much going on. There's too much dancing, too much moving. I feel like they're moving too fast. It's too distracting. Whereas I, I almost, I hate to say it, but I almost kind of don't want her dancing as much. I want them more dancing around her. Yeah, and there's too much backing. Hear all the backing? I don't wanna hear the backing. I wanna hear the lead. I feel like there's just too much. We've lost the emotion, and then it's so clean. Oh, I love Brittany. another version of Valerie? I feel like there's two versions. I feel like I've reacted to two versions. I know I've reacted to this one. Link that down below. Among all the million and a half songs that I've done from Glee. Okay, so I think it's kind of obvious where my point would go on that one. It's gonna go to the original. And it doesn't have to do with Naya's vocals. This has to do with the way that it was mixed. I think it's just too clean. Too pop. Da, ba, da, da. Too much, too much for me. I want a little more grit and feeling behind it and it didn't have it as much. Oh my God, are we doing Gaga? <sighs> She's freaking tiny. I don't remember her being so tiny. Slightly off point, but I have been considering doing evolution of voice. Evolution of voice is basically where I pick an artist and I start from the very beginning of when they first were performing and we watch different movies and concerts of them over like a month or two or three series about the evolution of their voice, how their voice has changed, how their performance has changed, how they have changed, how their lyrics have changed. And Lady Gaga is one on like, top of my list because I feel like the other one I was thinking about was Taylor Swift. God, talk about evolving. Just as we saw earlier, her vocals were so young and innocent before and then now she's more coming out and singing like, screw you, this is who I am and if you don't like it, too bad, you know? And I love that, I love that. So if you like that idea of me doing evolution of voice of maybe Taylor Swift or Lady Gaga, be sure to comment down below and let me know. That'll kind of push me towards Checking that out. Oh my God, she's just tiny. The knife. Oh, I love everything about it. If we're gonna do a club song, this is a club song. This is one of the songs that she's really written that I think does well as a club song. The dancing is on point. The story that's being told is on point. Like her vocals sound great. Gonna marry, that's a high note, especially since I'm, I'm recovering from COVID. It feels very high, but gonna, gonna marry the night. That's a do da da that's a big jump. And she's just breezing through it, like no problem. God, I love her attitude too. Oh, really? I haven't seen this episode yet. <laughs> I gotta rewind. Because Kurt's face was like. <laughs> That's my. That was me right there. Oh my god. It is so good. It is so good. I love that face. I'm only on season four, by the way. If you love Glee, you need to come and hang out with me and watch it with me every single week on my Patreon. We have the screen, we have the audio, everything's linked up. We do a new watch party of a new Glee episode every single week. Right now I'm on season four. We have over 1,500 
members. We chat like crazy in there. Most of our posts get like 60, 70, 80 comments. I mean, it's insane how much we chat in there. We also have deleted scenes, behind the scenes. We have movie musicals every single month and different TV shows every single week. There's so much in there and it's only five bucks a month. So skip coffee one day and instead come hang out with us for an entire month. I will be sure to link that down below. Oh my God, Naya's face is the same. really liked that. Oh God, Gaga. I really liked that. That sounded amazing. Wait, was that? Is that? Oh my God, what is her name? Please send me anyone. You know who I'm talking about. Is that her? It sure as hell looks like her. Like an early days her. Oh my God. shit you guys that's really good that's really good it's almost more suited for his vocals what the fuck is going on that's really good like i like it more i feel it more what is he doing yeah, that's a little weird but right Right? I'm there with you, Santana. I'm gonna have to give a point to Glee. <gasps> I'm sorry, my little monsters. But holy shit. Now, okay, maybe if the version of Lady Gaga was more of her live version, cause she tends to just really bring it when she's live, truthfully. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just felt it more with him. He hit these notes and it suited his vocals and he just fucking went for it. Granted, he wasn't dancing the same as she was, but uh, I really liked it. Ah. Oh my God, she just hung a glory. She's like, doo, 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 just hanging out, hitting that note. Don't mind me, barely even opened my mouth. It's all good. God, it's such a high-pitched voice. I think they got the really? That's some high notes, you guys. That's some high notes right there. And she's just flying through them like no point. And this video is pretty dated, so I do have to take that into consideration. This is a disco song, so less emotion is attached, a little more party time. Oh, we've got him again. <laughs> and look at Santana's face where I froze it. I am just on it today. I am freezing it at all the best points. Thank you. Point for me. Are they fighting over him? They totally are. Part with Rachel and the new dude. I don't know. I feel like when Rachel just hit that note, it's kind of muted. It's not as bold and upfront as I would like it to be. But then Naya comes in and it's amazing. Here. I almost want him to hit that. I think it would have sound really good there. But Santana comes in to save the day. Mm. He's the same 
same dude, right? He just sounds more clean here. He doesn't sound as forward place, he doesn't sound as raw, it's, it's too, it's too mixed. See? See? He totally could have hit that note. I love them in a little diner, though. Oh, you tell it. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like there's too much battle going on. We've taken this good song and there's there's a lot going on if I'm just judging off of the song. I would say points gonna have to go to the original because I just felt overwhelmed. I felt like they would have given the high points to the guy if they would have maybe not gone on the battle at the end, which clearly Kurt was right there with me going, yeah, what is going on? And the original is classic, it's simple, it's good, we like it. I don't feel overwhelmed on it, so I'm gonna go with the original. I don't even know who's in the lead, I've lost count. Need you to a voice of you to go from this early days and then her writing waitress and then girls five ever i mean there's just i'm sure she's also like actual like artist behind a ton of stuff that we didn't even know i love her little swagger in her voice too she's there to stay yeah, this is kind of back in the era of when music videos told stories that had absolutely really like nothing to do with the actual song, but then it just pops them in on their piano. And then you go back to like, why or what is, I don't get it. I don't know why they did that, but they did that a lot back then. Convince me to please you. Made me think that I need this too. Oh, we got a triplet. This is. <gasps> This is their trio song. Um, I don't remember why the guys in the background are naked. Can someone remind me on that one? Is this the one where she decided not to get naked and then they came together and sang the song? I don't know why they're singing the song then. Okay, so I really like their vocals in this. One thing that did bug me even the first time that I watched it was how <laughs> cute Rachel Berry is being. I just think it's way over the top and I just don't like it. It's not her normal. So why did she do that here? It's like she's mocking it. Oh, I love Quinn on this solo. Mm. Oh, and the raspiness. I don't know. There's so many aspects that I like in Glee and so many aspects that I like in the original. Am I allowed to do a tie? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Vocally wise in the Glee one, I love Quinn, I love Santana, don't love Rachel. She's just over the top and I don't understand why. And I felt it took away from the song. But I do like the background, it's very similar though, but I do like that they're a trio and then we had all these extra harmonies which were beautiful. Now the original, I'm a fan of the original. I really, really like the original. I think it's simple. She's writing him a love song about not gonna write him a love song, which I think is hilarious and it's just her and her piano. Vocal standalone are amazing. I don't know. Like, I love the original, but I love the trio idea. God, it's just, Rachel sways me to say no. Cause I just don't like the way that she portrayed it and I don't like her vocals in it, but I like the other two. Oh my God, can we do a tie? Is that even possible? Uh, we're gonna go with, okay, which one would I listen to more? The original. 
It just would. I, I'm definitely biased. I don't know what that means because I don't remember what the tally up is. I won't know until I watch this with you guys. Okay, you guys, be sure to comment down below and let me know what you want the next set of songs to be for Glee versus original. And I will give you my advice on that. We also do voting in my Patreon, which I will link down below. Again, come to my Patreon. If you are a Glee fan, you need to be there already. If you just love hearing about vocals and how they get broken down and how they compare and all of that, and you love movie musicals, come to my Patreon. Okay, that's it. Bye you guys, la la la.